G'day, how you going? So today, we're going to do a photo shoot. <laughs> Spike. No, not with these two. <laughs> I've actually, um, we're going to try the flash and do a photo shoot with the trigger and the flash. And I'm going to use my um, sister as the model. So, and we'll try to set her up. I've never done really a photo shoot um, really before, so... Uh, this is a good experiment, a good practice. The Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. I've got the X2T radio trigger and the TT350O for Olympus Godox uh, flash. This channel 10, this channel 10, I've put it in manual mode. So all I would do is turn that square, that circle there, and that changes the strength of the light from one full power to one half, to one quarter, to one uh, to up to one over 128, which is the weakest power. I did a video, um, so how to set and how did this how this talks to that. Um, you can check that out first, and then come back here <laughs> and see how uh, dodgy I can do this uh, photo shoot. Jerry, you're not the model for today. Joya is. You need uh, a studio <laughs> or just your bedroom and you need a good backdrop so newer sponsored by newer not really uh, but if newer is watching Jerry careful bazooka Jerry this is your studio remember how high is it when you buy one you got to make sure that you know it's big enough. Is that too bright? If you want a soft box effect, um, you can do it like that. You do have uh, these things here, but uh, they're not too. They're okay. Not too bad. That that's uh, that spreads the light, and then that's just a bounce card. There's two theories, I guess. There's continuous lighting. Um, I think they call that studio lighting or, I don't know, beauty lighting or some shit. But you can either have like a soft box, you know, you put that in there, and then you put a soft um, thing around there, this thing. You know, you cover that, and you have a soft way. Everyone knows what a bloody soft box is. Oh, shit. That's probably the easiest way to do um, portraits because you don't have to worry you don't have to have a flash you just have a continuous light source uh, and that's always on and it's, you just treat it like you're taking a normal photo outside umbrellas are the best thing um, and they're cheapest and they're easiest and the only way I know how to bloody do it anyway so what you're doing is you're making a small light turn into a big light and you flash that into there and so if you read all the manuals, it says a bigger source of light is softer than a smaller source of light. So that's a small light there. I mean, you're, you're flashing it into there, bouncing back, and that's a massive. So the bigger, the better, and that'll spread the light out and make it softer and less harsh. Because you know they get that really shitty flash look that's really harsh and you get shadows and... Then you have this one, which is like a translucent. You point the, sh the flash this way and the light comes out this way and makes it bigger and it, it sort of softens it. When you go do your passport and all that, and then uh, they always use one of these. So it could just an even soft light around your face. And then you can have different colors if you want. Now that same principle but that'll give you a like a golden um, you know sunset look so it's a 45 millimeter 1.8 12 to 40 uh, pro which the you know the classic em1 mark II kit combination the lower the aperture the better the blurrier the background the better the bokeh whatever but considering that we're doing it here anyway on this black 
thing, it doesn't really matter. This this will be more for when you're like outside and you want to get a blurrier background that way. First, let's try just the flash by itself. All right. So, Joy, this is Joya. Uh, hi. So, um, that's my sister. Uh, she's the model for today, and she has her own channel. If you want to check it out, <laughs> she has adventures with Joya and Spike. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're just going to uh, muck around with uh, Flash and, alright, so Joy, you go over there. Yep. Spike, you want to be in the photo too? <laughs> so we're going to use just the around. standard Flash, no TTL, I'm going to put it in TTL, um, which is through the lens. Focus on the eye, like that. <laughs> oh, I blinked. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so frame it up, black backdrop, and that's flash, that's with TTL. To diffuse it a bit, we could put this uh, finger jig on top. Let's try that, John. Girl. Jerry, you want to play with donkey? She got it out of the bag. Did she? Good girl. <laughs> Let's put it on... <laughs> Spike, naughty! <laughs> You Let's put face detect on with eye. Good boy. Even better. So it's got face detect with eye now. And okay, that's with this um, finger jig on here, and that diffuses it a bit. Now the better way that a lot of people say is to use because um, what the idea is, you want to get a bigger source of light, and the biggest source of light is the roof. If you've got a white roof. Um, so what you can do, you point it up, little bounce card, and what that does, that puts a reflection, a, a catch. They've got a catch light, and and when you get a little catch light in your eye, it makes the eye more lively, like less. You don't have a dead eye, you know. So I let let let's wipe there, and that's actually way better. Like that. Good boy. And yeah, this 45, you've got to get right back. I've got this, I mean, this is for macro, but it's the same principle. Um, you're just making it a bigger light source, and you don't have to always have TTL. You can put it in um, manual mode. You can control the strength here. So you can control it. So that's, that's two. Jerry! <laughs> you cheeky bum! <laughs> Jerry! Jerry's heaps better. Yeah, Jerry's better now. <laughs> and then you can control that, so. Alright, yeah, that's good. That's the little Jerry there. So let's try it on the biggest flash. Uh, one, one to one is the highest power you can get. Uh, oh, where, shit. Where do I look? <laughs> that yeah, would have blinded right. you. Yeah, dude. Where do I look though? Uh, in the lens. Oh, I was looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to look at the flash, you look in the lens. That. Yeah, that was completely blinding. Yeah, that's yeah, ridiculous. You, Whatever you on. do, don't do that, because that <laughs> then every every model that you hire will quickly walk out the door. Um, yeah, that was always start at the lowest. <laughs> one over one two eight. So let's try that. Yeah, that's alright. Jerry, <laughs> 64, 1 over 64, so, and then portrait, it's, uh, it's, it's latching onto the eye, but just in case it doesn't, like that, <laughs> actually that was a good one. Let's try some outside shots, with uh, outside. You're at the mercy of the light, so but you can still use the flash outside. Shit, I forgot the flash. <laughs> Let's try some without the flash first. <laughs> Alright, Jerry. Yeah, these are easy. Jerry, you're a good girl. Uh, Jerry, what a baby. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, you can see they're really good focus. Yeah, if I want to do 1.8 all the way, 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 1.
160 speed I mean, that's just simple, simple portrait. Now, if you want to fill it in a bit, we'll get, we'll we'll need the flash <laughs> and a walking stick. Flash goes into the umbrella, comes out here soft and big. So that's the idea, anyway. So 45 degrees, they reckon is good. Uh, you, you can get like a a fill in light there, but see what this does. 1.8. Yeah. Uh, whoa, way too bright. So the beauty here, you don't have to go over there. You can just change it here. That's just uh, <coughs> didn't <coughs> that one over two eight didn't overpower anything. Yeah, that's softer. Is it even going? Oh, he's going yeah, off. Flashy. Yeah, and then also if you want to play around, you can move it closer. I was thinking, how do you light the background? Um, you need another flash. That's when you need two lights. You need one in the back, and, and then you get all these hair lights and all this other crap. But for this, this is just, um, yeah, just nicely filled. Um, oh, now, I'll, I'll, let's try another umbrella to get that golden look. So this is where I'm paying by the hour here and the model hasn't turned up. What the hell, man? Do you know how expensive you are? <laughs> oh. Funny enough, didn't you work at a modeling agency? Yeah, that's what's funny. Ready? Oh, right. That's weird. Is that it's better? like, oh, it's not, it's not enough. I can't feel it because of the glasses. It's getting like a full on a glow. I'm gonna try it without I the glasses. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, try one of that. Um, now it's cat catched your eye there. Cool. Bit too bright. <laughs> there's probably shit all over the. Well, there's one there. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> Jerry, you shit all over the yard. Now, the beauty of these is so light, you can just move them around to wherever you want. They're a good practical little thing. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this. I'm thinking push the light up to here and bounce off the. So if you stand up here, Joe, over here, watch out the shit. Yeah. <laughs> and come, come forward. Well, that's all right. Move out a bit more here. Is it? Uh, where am I? You just see my head. <laughs> That's good content. Jerry, good content. Oh, oh shit. No. Spike. <laughs> Spike, you okay? Oh, baby. Poor Spike. Spike. What happened, Spike? Jerry. He knocked it. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's, it's all right, Spikey. He didn't Spider. know it yet. So what, what are we trying to achieve? Just a soft I want to get background. like these golden oh, leaves, okay, yep. but I need to stand on something. Get the crate. Oh yeah. <laughs> Improvising. <laughs> Jerry, you shit everywhere. Yeah, I can't even see you. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's it. Yeah, that's framed. Framed nicely. Is that even doing it? Yeah, it did. It, it flashed. Maybe I'll make, make it stronger. Actually, yeah. Have a swing, you see. You stand on it. So I can get closer. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> so I don't want to get too... What do you call it? No, that, that, uh, that brick wall sucks. Yeah, then that's not even close. No, I think I've got some good shots there. Don't think uh, I'm an expert at this. We're just mucking around. We're trying to get um, good practice in. Oh, and the more you practice, the better you get. The more ideas you have, things like that. <laughs> uh, but that's me just um, 
practicing flash studio model photography. What the hell do you call it? Portrait. Portrait studio environment flash photography. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one.